Hey there everyone, welcome to Trizity Traveling. I'm your host John. Today I don't have a trip report for you, but I do have a destination tour video. If you watched last week's video, you know that I was traveling to Tampa, Florida with my son to visit the zoo, aquarium, and spend some time on the beach. Today's video is our visit to the Tampa Aquarium, but before we get to the aquarium, please take a second to click the subscribe button and hit that reminder bell to be notified of future content. If you like today's video, please hit the thumbs up as well. It really helps. Today's visit to the Florida Aquarium begins in the parking lot, actually. But once we get into the aquarium, we'll start with the Wetlands Trail. This is a exhibit based on the wetlands of Florida. Today's presentation is a mixture of photos and video that I took while at the aquarium. Without further discussion of that, let's get to the destination, the Florida Aquarium. As I mentioned, we started in the parking lot. It's a short walk from the parking lot to the entrance of the aquarium. Because we're in the COVID era, there are a couple billboards of safety precautions being taken during your visit. I welcome you to pause that if you're interested. The aquarium is also filled with exhibits made from reclaimed water garbage trash. Priscilla the parrotfish is the first example. Even the manta ray is wearing a mask. But as I mentioned, we're starting in the wetlands of Florida. I am not an aquarium expert nor an animal expert, so I will identify those animals that I can. The Wetlands exhibit is essentially a mangrove forest filled with creatures that you would normally see, such as the river otter. There's a Burmese python on display. Apparently this is an invasive species to Florida. And visitors to Florida or residents of Florida will know that there's a wide variety of birds all over the state. Fortunately, I can't identify most of these for you. These are identified on the aquarium website. I believe these are rosate spoonbills. Possibly a red drum in the mangrove forest. Alligators, of course. A brown pelican hanging out nearby some other alligators. Even some tortoises. Another rosate spoonbill posing for a photo for me. This ugly looking dude is a white gar. Ugh. Moving on from the wetlands, we take a short visit to Madagascar. Madagascar exhibit included a coral reef. but my favorite were the lemurs. Didn't expect to see lemurs at an aquarium. There's also a hissing cockroach exhibit, but I didn't actually see that, nor would I have enjoyed that. Madagascar tortoise. And quickly we move on to bays and beaches. A 
whole bunch of fish I can't identify here for you. They're very pretty. I believe these are porcupine fish. And we'll move on to the no bones zone. I didn't actually partake in the no bones zone. Touching sea life is not really my favorite thing, but there's a good view of the lower level from up here. You can touch jellyfish down there. My favorite part of the exhibit is the coral reefs. Obviously, if you're paying attention to what's going on in the world, coral reefs are in, in danger right now and they're fading fast. As I mentioned in the intro, there are multiple exhibits throughout the aquarium made up of sea trash, kids toys, plastic, fishing supplies, and those things. continue through the underwater tunnel. More eel. Barracuda. sea turtle. This sea turtle looks like he got hit by something. It's got a big nick on the right side. They have an extensive sea dragon display. These are especially difficult to photograph, so I only got a couple photos. Video was unsuccessful in this area. Quite good camouflage, look like the plants that they're hanging out with. As I mentioned, this is the COVID era, so please practice your social distance. Turtle got up from his rest and came over to the large viewing window. Does have a nice selection of a shark, some rays, lots of fish. I believe that's a ragged tooth shark. told by the guide of the aquarium that the shark and that fish got into a little bit of a tussle. I think the fish lost. Continuing on to waves of wonder. Jellyfish display. multiple kinds of jellyfish. These jellies are my favorite. They look like they're electric. And we'll walk around the corner to the heart of the sea. There's another sea turtle. Sea turtle was sharing this exhibit with Another shark, some other fish, and some rays. And they were cultivating coral in this exhibit. I 
believe that's a shrimp hanging out with some sea anemones of some sort. Don't know what kind of fish that is, but I find him to be ugly. Upside down jellyfish. I didn't know there was such a thing as an upside down jellyfish. And then another anemone exhibit with clownfish. I believe this is a fan favorite for most people. Thank you, Nemo. Lionfish, I cannot identify that one. And we'll wrap up with the splash pad. This is an outdoor area for kids to play in. It was open and running today. There weren't very many kids in it. And right next door to the splash pad, the adult splash pad or Corona Cove. We can get an adult beverage there. Stopped into the cafeteria, got a Spider-Man popsicle snack. And that wraps up our visit today. If you have any questions or comments about visiting the Florida Aquarium, please post them below. I'll be happy to respond to those. Thanks for watching with me today. And as always, I'm going to wish you and yours happy travels.